Welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to see the procedure to perform a bronchoalveolar lavage. In a previous video, I explained the situations in which a BAL is indicated. If you want to review it, you can find the link here on top. So now, first of all, let's check what we need. Adequate sedation, usually xylazine is okay. Diluted lidocaine as local anesthetic a BIL catheter, 250-300 ml of sterile saline solution in 60 ml syringes, a 10-20 ml syringe to inflate the balloon tip, EDTA tubes for sample collection. Now let's see how to do it. After the patient is adequately sedated, additional restraint with the nose twitch can be used. Three people are usually required to perform this procedure. One restraining the patient, as Barbara in this video. Another passing the lavage catheter, and here we have Adri. And the third operating the lavage catheter and infusing the lavage solution and aspiring the sample, which is Patri, although you won't see her apart from the hands. The catheter is inserted into the ventral meatus up to the trachea and care must be taken to ensure that the catheter is not placed into the esophagus nor retroflexed into the oropharynx. When the catheter is correctly placed into the tracheal lumen, there is no resistance to the passage and the patient typically cough. Once we have entered the trachea, the diluted local anesthetic solution is gradually infused through the catheter as it is advanced. Once the catheter has reached a small bronchus and cannot advance anymore, the balloon on the catheter tip is inflated with 10 ml of air to provide a seal within the airway lumen. The entire volume of lavage solution is then infused into the lung via the catheter, followed by immediate aspiration using the 60 ml syringes. The yield of lavage fluid may range from 30 to 70% of the volume infused. Following sample collection, the catheter balloon tip is deflated and the catheter withdrawn. Here you can see an example of sample retrieved. The sample obtained should be pulled and submitted immediately for cytologic analysis. Ok, I hope that it was clear. If you liked the video, press like and if you want to watch more videos, subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching. Bye!